today's lesson, a small static website using uh, HTML, right, in Notepad. So first of all, in the classes, morning term S, create a new folder. What's the date today? Zero. Sorry. Today is 10 or 9? Nine? 9. 09-05-2012. Nine. Nine. Run Notepad. As usual, the normal structure will start right. HTML text start, HTML text closed. Title text started, and title text closed. Here I'm writing. Welcome to term S web. First of all, I'm going to make a web page, and after that, I will make a website from that, right? <coughs> now, body text started. Close body text. File save. Where to save? Go to desktop. Here I'm having classes folder. Morning to um, S. Mm, this one? Yeah. And I'm saving this by the name of index.html. Double quote start and double quotes close at the end, right? Minimize. And here's the output. Double click on index.html. Here I'm, I'm having only the title, right? Now the first <coughs> thing. The first thing which I'm going to take that is table. Border is equal to one. Width of this one table, I'm going to take it as 90 pixels, right? And and its alignment, align is equal to center. Close table. How many rows I need? How many rows? And in one row, how many TDs I need? How many TDs I need? Three. Hmm. This is A. This is B. This is C. And if I copy this and paste, any problem? Good. Control C. Two times. Three times four times and the last one this is five times right control s uh, now check its output here refresh how many rows i'm having one two three four five five rows and three columns if you remember here first of all i i created like this so now i will merge the first first row then second row then the second last row then the last row right so here I'm having the first row, this one, merge it. The first one, okay? This is the first one. So here in the TD, what I will write here? Come on. Hmm. Call span. Call span is equal to three. One thing, and remove TD, TD start TD close off B, TD, TD start TD close off C. File save, output, refresh. First merge, now the second one. Let me close this one. Mm. Yeah. Now the next one. Now the next one here in the TD, this is the next row, right? Next TR started and closed. Now in this TR, in the TD, I'm writing here, same, call span is equal to three. And remove TD start, TD close, TD start, TD close, and remove B and C. File save and output, refresh. This one is well merged. Now, the second last, the second last, not this one. This is the third one, not the third one. Which one? This fourth one. This is the fourth, right? This is the fourth, and after this, this is the fifth one. And after fifth one, I'm having the table tag closed. So here, in this TD, I will write call span is equal to three. Remove the next TD start and TD close. Enlarge it. And here as well. Call span is equal to three. Save and output. Refresh it. Exactly like this one structure? Okay. Let me change the background color for some time. Just for one minute or two minutes. BG color, black. 
file save and output refresh watch this one distance please this one from the top and from the left I want to remove this one space this one space and this one space so what I have to do in the in the body in the body I'm writing here left margin left margin is equal to zero and next one top margin is equal to zero file save output watch carefully okay here and here this <coughs> one distance yeah. and this one distance watch it out removed okay now again I'm removing this black color from here save and refresh I want to move this A to the center and middle. So what I have to write in the TD of this A, the first A, here um, I will write uh, a line is equal to center, V line is equal to middle. Save and refresh it. Change the background color of this one cell. Hmm. BG color is equal to purple. Refresh. Now, if this color is changed, I'm going to increase the font size as well. Instead of this A, instead of this A, I want to write font. Color is equal to white. Face is equal to word enough. Size is equal to maximum size. I'm having seven. Close font. Here I'm writing, welcome to term S web page. Save and refresh up to here clear let me increase the height of this one cell what's this td right in this td i'm writing height is equal to 100 pixels file save and refresh increase a little more 150 or one 158 refresh it up to here clear the same color I want to apply to the last last row, the same color in order to balance my sight. So to the last cell where I have written A, the last cell where I have written A, scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Here, this one, the last one here. First of all, change alignment to align is equal to center. And V align is equal to vertical alignment, top. Instead of this A, I want to write font color is equal to white, face is equal to word, you know, size is equal to 2, close font, and I'm writing here all copy right reserved at the rate of term S 2012-13. Control S output here. Uh, here is the text. Visible? Why not visible? Now visible? Okay. Now let me change the background color. So in this t TD, this is the TD started, right? Call span 3 line is equal to center V line top. Here I'm writing BG color is equal to perfect. Save, refresh. Up to here clear. Okay. I want to change the background color of this one cell as well. This one, the second cell. Here. Which one cell is there? This one. So if I write here BG color is equal to light yellow. Save, refresh. Color changed? Now the same color, the same color I want to apply to this one cell as well. This, the second last cell. The second last. Scroll down. Is this the second last? Yeah. Right here, BG color is equal to save and refresh. This one is well changed. Now in this one cell, in this one cell, I want to apply some marquee. Scroll up. This one cell. Right here. Marquee. Scroll amount is equal to 1. Scroll delay is equal to 5. Bus. 
we are stopping the mob again. And here I'm starting font, color is equal to red, face is equal to word, you know, size is equal to 2, close font, and inside the font I'm starting I fake, close I fake. I fake stands for italic. F1 from keyboard, and what is notepad? I'm copying this one text. For example, this is the text, some important news, right? Control C, Control C, and paste it here. In between, I take start and I take close. Control V, Control S, output, and refresh. Up to here, player. 100%, 110%. Any problem? Right? Okay. <coughs> now come towards this A cell, this one. This one cell. Abdullah, Shaitan, Tibilpur. Okay, in this one cell, I'm going to insert a table, right? In this S, S cell. So again, here this is A cell. Watch it out. Right now, I'm having this is the A cell. This is the B cell. This is C. A, B, C. A, B, C represents these cells. This is A, this full cell is A, this is B, and this is C, right? Now, first of all, first of all, in the TD of A, I'm going to change alignment to, align is equal to left, because I'm going to insert table on left side, here on left, right? Left and top. So, align is equal to left, and V align is equal to top. Now, here instead of this A, I'm writing table command. Table, border is equal to 1, width is equal to, let me take the word, width of this one table is mm, 108, 108 pixels, and close table. Now, in between this one table, I'm writing TR text started, close TR, in between TR start and TR close TD text started, close TD. I'm writing here, 1. Again, next row. Control C, Control V, second row, Control V, third row, <coughs> <coughs> Control V, fifth row, sixth row, and again I'm copying all of them, and again I'm going to paste. All of them selected, right, and Control C, and here Control V. File save and output. Refresh. Is this clear? Okay. What is the width of the table? The main table. Somewhere. Somewhere. One table done here. Right? Now I'm going to insert an another table here in the C cell. Right? So the table is on the right side. The table is on the right side. So first of all, here in the in the C cell, where is C? This is B, no, no B, C. In the C, first of all, right here, a line is equal to, a line is equal to right. One thing, file save, refresh it. Okay, change to right side. Now move it to the top. I will draw a table from here, not from here. I mean to say from here, I would like to draw a table like this, right? So again, V align is equal to top. File, save, and refresh. Moved up, right? Now insert table. Now apply table command. Remove this C cell from here. And I'm writing here table. Border is equal to 1. Width is equal to. What will be the width? 216. 216. Two, one, Close table. And TD take started. Close TD tag and sorry, yeah, first of all, I'll start TR. TR tag started in between TR, TD, close TR. Now, here in this TD, let me write 3. Select TR, control C, paste it once more, paste it once more, once more. Control V, control S. Check its output now. Refresh. Up 
to get clear? Now again, I need, what about this extra space? This space will be removed automatically, okay? This one space and this one space. Now first of all, I'm going to insert in another table here in this B cell. So the table which I'm going to insert here, this is on the left side, right side, or in the center? In the center. So check out where is B? Here is B, here. Change its alignment to right here, align is equal to center, file, save, and refresh. Watch carefully towards this B, center. But move it to top. So what I will write here, V line is equal to top. Save and refresh. Now it's okay. Now insert table here. Insert table here. Instead of this B, I will write table. Border is equal to 1. Width is equal to hmm. No, no, no. Now, if, if you are going to take ex the exact values, here I'm going to take 108, here I'm going to take 216, here I'm going to take 666. So in 990, you cannot fit all of them. Remove some digits from here. Instead of 666, let me, let me write here 664, or let me write here 662. Write here 662. Close table text, and here now I'm going to write TR text started, close TR, in between the TR, 1 TB started, and TB close, and let me write here 2, control C, control V, control S, output, and refresh. Such kind of structure met. Now let me apply colors, let me apply colors. To this one table, the table on the left side, I want to change its background color to the purple color. So what I have to do? Where is the table? This one table. Check out where I've written one, 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 right? And move up, up. And in this table, right here, BG color, background color of this one table, change to purple color. Save and refresh. Right? Now here, here, instead of this, sorry, here, in the second table, Change the background color of this one cell. We have written two. The first one, okay? Scroll down, 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 and here, the first two. So in this TD, right here, BG color is equal to purple. Save, refresh. Move towards the next table. Move towards the next table. Scroll down. Change the background color of this one. The first three, I'm writing here. Sorry, BG color is equal to purple. Save, refresh. Leave two cells and then the next one three color change. Leave this one and leave this one. And after this, I'm having the next three. So change its background color. Here I'm writing BG color is equal to purple. Save, refresh. Again, leave these two and the next one three color. Scroll down, leave this one, leave this one, and the next one three. Here, this one three. For this one, change the TV color. Background color is equal to purple. Save, refresh. Up to here, clear. Now, instead of this one, 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 I want to write proper information here. Instead of one, 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 I want to write proper links here. So, what I have to do? Again, go to the code. The first one here, instead of this one, I'm writing home. Instead of this one, I will write about us. Save, check it, refresh. Visible? The text is visible? No, not visible. If I change color to white color, then it will be more prominent. So instead of Black, here I'm writing font, color is equal to, color is equal to white, face is equal to word and size is equal to two, right? And if I make them bold, B text started and B text close, close, and close font text. File, save and refresh. Now which one is proper visible, this one or the next one? The first one is properly visible. So again, select this font tag as a whole, Control C, and instead of this 
uh, on the place of about us i will paste it here and i will change home to about us next one this one remove this one control v i'm writing here contact us Oof. sorry contact us next one in this td remove this one control v services again instead of this next one control v all right here jobs file save check it out what's happening is this clear now again remove this one as well control v instead of home site map save uh, refresh two more instead of this one again paste it i'm writing here frequently asked questions faq frequently asked questions and the last one here the last one i'm entering here this is feedback file save and refresh this is feedback right now the rest of this one and one i, I want to remove them i want to remove them so how to remove these two instead of this one if i write nothing right and here as well i'm writing nothing file save and refresh what's this i've removed only the text i haven't removed the tds so what i have to do here watch carefully td start td close and i will write here and nbsp non-breaking space remember this and the same N nbsp i'm writing here control s output and refresh it up to here clear now instead of this two the next one the one of which i have changed the background color control c which one the first one here scroll down scroll down here this is the two remove it control v and right here home file save and refresh it now move towards the next one here this one three return the first three of which i have changed the background color scroll down scroll down scroll down mm -mm -mm. yeah here this one font tag paste it here here i'm writing <coughs> let us information save refresh latest information here right no wise V E R. Yeah. Now see. Now, what's the meaning of latest information? What I mean from latest information here, here in this one cell, the text. What's the text here? Three. Okay. Now see what I want to do. In this three, remove this three from here. Right here. Mark you. Scroll amount is equal to one. Scroll delay is equal to five direction is equal to up and close marking and now here f1 from keyboard i need this text select it control c paste the text once more paste the text two times paste it right control s output refresh Change the background color of this one cell as well because Marky is moving here. So for this, um, in this TD where I have used Marky, I'm writing VG color is equal to light green. Refresh. Change the text color as well. Change the text color as well. So what I, what I have to do inside the Marky, I will write here font color is equal to purple, size is equal to one. And face is equal to word and all. And before mark you, before the closing of mark you, close font tag. Save and refresh. Is this clear? I want to make the height of this mark you smaller. So in the mark you, in the mark you right here, height is equal to six. Save and refresh. Sorry. H E I G H T. 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, save, a little more, make it bigger, 100. Yeah. <coughs> Is it justified? Hmm? No. So then what I have to do? For justification, what we used to write? E tag, a line is equal to J U S T I F Y justify and after the text here close it. Close E tag. File save and refresh. Justified now? Okay, on mouse over I wanna stop its motion. On mouse over I wanna stop its motion. So what I have to write? In the mark you in the mark you what do you have to write? Come on. Hmm, on mouse over what? on mouse or is equal to this dot stop and on mouse out is equal to this dot stop save and refresh click allow block content yep stop start stop start up to here clear should i proceed why no what i've done nothing extra all the things which he has studied before a little more a little more a little more right Okay, just I'm going to remove this three, 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 right? Just this one, just these three, three I'm going to remove. Okay, scroll down. Please excuse me. Instead of this three, I'm writing N, N, B, S, P, right? And instead of this three, uh, again, I want some text to be copied from here. Let me copy from here. This one, right? Control C and scroll down. Here, yeah. And here I want to write important links. Save, refresh. This cell is empty in here. Important links. I want to remove this three from here. So what I have to paste here and NBSP, right? Check it out. Removed. And this one three as well. Scroll down and here as well and nbsp save refresh now here in this one cell as well i want to write some text for this three control v and instead of this latest information what i will write weak this one spelling or e k e or a e I was just checking. Week, V double E K. Okay, here instead of this three and N B S P and refresh, right? Two more changes, please. Only two more. Here instead of this A, here instead of this A, I want to write some important links, but in the center. So what I have to write? Scroll down. This is the A. Here this one. Change this alignment to center. A line is equal to center. V line is equal to top. Save and refresh. Here is in the center. Now instead of this A, I want to write some text. So write. Control V. Home, pipe sign. About us, pipe sign. Contact us, pipe sign. Site map, pipe sign. In the last one, for example, I'm writing here, this is feedback. And change its uh, uh, color to white color, no. Red, save, refresh. Why red color? Because in the, f what is the background color of the first one cell? Purple color. In the last cell as well, purple color. The text is white color. So here the text also white color. After after this one cell, I'm having yellow cell. This one is well yellow. The text here in this one cell is red color. So this one is well red color in order to balance the site, right? Now the last change is I'm going to make and that's it. Instead of this two, <coughs> instead of this two, insert some text. Insert some text. Where is the two? Uh, here. First of all, change alignment to align is equal to left 
and V line is equal to top and now write some text here. Paste the font. Font color is equal to white. No, I want the color to be purple color. Size to word enough. No, I don't need to be bold. I don't need the text to be bold. And instead of latest information, here I need lot of text. So F1 from keyboard. This is no. I need some more text. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, let me copy this one text and I will paste it again and again, right? This one text selected. Control C. Paste it here. One time paste. Control B two times paste it. Three times paste it, right? And if I enclose all of them <coughs> in P tag, any problem? P tag started. And here I'm going to close the P tag. Check it out. Refresh. This is the first paragraph. I need another paragraph. So only copy this paragraph and paste it once more. Control C and Control V. File save and refresh. One more paragraph, please. Control V. File save and refresh. Up to here, clear. One last change. Remove border. Remove border. In the say border is one, change border to zero, change border to zero. So table border, this one, zero. Again, scroll down and check out another table. This one as well table, change this border as well zero. Scroll down, 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 and 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 here as well another table. Border zero. One more. <coughs> Scroll down and here another table and change the border to zero. Control S output refresh. Is this clear? Thank you so much. Okay, let me change the background color of the main table. BG color is equal to, tell me some light color, come on, excuse me. Some light color. Sky blue. Not looking good. Something else color. Hmm? Orange. No. Black. Gray. Silver. No, there is no light silver. Either gray or silver. Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Control G color. Color, any color. Mm -hmm. Okay, apply yourself. Color, apply yourself, right? This one, this one background should also be changed, okay? This one background should also be changed. So, mean to say, under important links, we have to insert some links. Under important links, we have to insert something else here. Mm. Picture of the week and here in this sun cell, so change the background color of this sun cell. BG color is equal to light pink and one more. Important links and in this sun cell, BG color is equal to light sky blue. And here background color, sorry, the table color, table background color i'm going to remove from here so you apply any color which you like save and refresh it any color which you like apply right so inshallah we will continue this thing in the next class up to here clear okay i
I know how much is clear. <laughs> Thank you so much. So uh, this was the lesson we have studied yesterday, right? Now in today's lesson, I will activate these links. Home link is not working. Mean to say this is supposed to be link. About us, contact us, services, job site map, FAQ, feedback. All these links will be activated. One thing, right? For each and every link, pages will be created. Right, second? Okay, here, important links. I will include some links here. These links should also be activated, right? And picture of the week here, here I will use a picture, right? So first of all, open the code, index.html. Or before, here I'm having a picture. Let me copy this picture here. This one, control C, paste picture here, right? Now, first of all, right click on this one picture, rename. Now, copy this picture as a whole. Select it, right click and copy. You need to say the file name dot, it's extension, both of them copied, right? Now, open index.html, open with notepad, okay? Now, tell me this one location, okay? This one, where is this one location? Picture of the week. Hmm. This is the table on the left side, job, site, map. Remember this? Yeah. Feedback. Now, this, this, this is another table. Home and the text here. And now one more table. That will be on the right side. Information, yeah. important links. And after important links here, I'm having picture, picture of the week. Here, in this one, cell I will insert. Check it out. For example, I'm writing some text here. File, save, and output. Check it, refresh, yeah. Here in this one, cell. Now, <coughs> instead of this text, what I will write here? For image, what I will write? Background. For image, I will write background. Hmm? No. Then, a line is equal to First of all, center and V align is equal to top. Now here I will write IMG space SRC is equal to double quotes, start double quotes, close. Picture name dot its extension. Now, if, if I'm going to save it here directly, so it will disturb the table. First of all, check out what's the width of the table I've taken on the right side. What is the width of the table I've taken on the right side? 216 okay so instead of 216 I will take the width of the picture as 214 in order to fit there properly width of the table is equal to 214 file save and check out here is the picture Abdullah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I need some important links. Here I'm going to include some important links like Facebook, YouTube, right? So first of all, find out that location. Find out that location. Here, here I'm having, here I'm having important links, right? Important links here. <coughs> Under the important links, I'm having a cell. Here, in this one cell, I'm going to mention. Please, please. Right here, this is, first I'm writing here Facebook. BR. Next one. BR. Next one. Yahoo. And so on. Right? File, save, and refresh it here. This is for your links, right? <coughs> apply font apply font here as well font color is equal to white face is equal to word enough size is equal to 2 and close font here and refresh it 
right? Okay. Now, once you are confirmed, once you are confirmed that your first page is complete, once you are confirmed that your first page is complete, then what do you have to do? This is your notepad. Go to file. Okay, it's not yet complete. Not yet complete. Where are links? I haven't applied links here for on home, about us, contact us, on each and every one I'm applying links right now. Okay, sc scroll up, scroll up, and here I'm having home. On this home, apply link. Before home, I'm writing ahref is equal to index.html. Mean to say, whenever someone is going to click on home, link me to which one page? Index.html. And at the end of home, close A. Next one, for about us, I'm writing here, ahref is equal to about.html. And close A. Next one, for contact us, for contact us, I will write here, ahref is equal to contact.html. And at the end of contact us, I will close A. Services, ahref is equal to services.html. And at the end of services, <coughs> close A tag. <coughs> Next one, I'm having jobs. Here write ahref is equal to jobs.html. Right, and at the end of jobs, close A. Apply links on each and every one. Right now, I'm having no pages. I'm having no pages, right? Yeah. But apply links, ahref is equal to, hmm, next one, sitemap.html. And at the end, close, a. FAQ, right here, ahref is equal to faq.html. And at the end, close, a, right? <coughs> Last one, you are having feedback. Ahref is equal to feedback.html. Right, and at the end, close A. File, save. Output. Normally in MS Word, when you apply the hyperlink, what's the color of hyperlink? Blue color. Blue color. <laughs> so blue color will be visible here on this, on this uh, purple color. Refresh it and check it. Refresh and check it. Visible. Yeah, they are visible, but not proper visible. I want to change its color. I want to change its color. So what I have to do? Scroll up. Again, here in the body tag, in the body tag, I use left margin, top margin, BG color, and here I'm writing link. Link is equal to any link having color, change it to white color. A link, A link stands for active link. Change active link color to white color. And V link, V link stands for visited, visited link. Change its color as well to white color. Save and output. Refresh it. Now all of them are links now. Their color is white color. Now here I, I updated the links. What about, what about this one, the Facebook and YouTube and these are not links. So again, scroll down, scroll down, down, down. Mm. Shh, please. Where are links? Here. Before this Facebook, <coughs> before this Facebook, I'm writing here, ahref is equal to, link me to http full colon slash slash www.facebook.com. When somebody click on Facebook, it will visit to which one page? Close A. When somebody is going to click on this Facebook, it will link you to http full colon slash slash facebook.com. Right? Again, for YouTube, what I will write here? Ahref is equal to http full colon slash slash www dot. Here I've used four times. <coughs> youtube.com right and right here youtube close a again for yahoo for yahoo what i will write here ahref 
link me with which one which one page yahoo.com when somebody is going to click on yahoo close a file save output check it out links are not working right refresh it and now see check out here towards the status bar check here okay here what's written in the status bar facebook.com what's written here youtube click and check it let me connect to the hotspot and after that i'm telling you this is it connect Internet not working. It is not working. Okay, simply click on this. It will visit you to which one page? Watch it out. Facebook.com. Right. If net is available, of course, of course, it will, it will navigate. Right. Okay. These links as well done. Right now, I'm working only in one page. Watch it out. I'm working in index.html. My index.html is not yet completed fully. OK. Again, scroll down. Here. These links are still remaining. Home, about us, contact us, site map, and feedback. So I'm going to apply links on them as well. Home, about us, contact us, site map, and feedback. This is the last change, right? OK. Scroll down. Scroll down here. This is home. On the home, I'm, I'm applying link. A, href is equal to, for home, what's the link name? Index.html. And close home here. After this, I'm having about us. A, href is equal to, about.html. And at the end of us, close A. Uh, contact us right here. A, href is equal to, contact.html. And directly after contact us, close a tag. And the second last sitemap, a h r e f is equal to sitemap.html. When somebody is going to click on sitemap, it will open which one page? Sitemap.html. Right now, I don't have pages, but I will create right now. Close a. And feedback, a h r e f is equal to feedback.html. And at the end of feedback, close a. File, save, output. Watch it out. Links not yet working. Refresh it. See. Yeah, this one working, this one working. All of them activated, right? In notepad, in the file. What's this? Save is. <coughs> Click on save is. OK, let me do one more small change. Welcome to term S web page. File sign and I'm I'm writing here home page. This is home page, right? File and save. Let us check here. Refresh. Welcome to term S web page and this is now this is not home uh, web page. This is a website. I'm going to create website from this. So instead of web page, I'm writing here website. Save and refresh. Welcome to term S website and this is home page, right? Okay. Now file. Click on, what's this? Save as. What's the meaning of save as? Save a file with a different name. Click on save as. After, after index, after index.html, what's the next one link? About.html. OK, double quotes start, double quotes close. In between, I'm writing here, about.html. Enter. What's the name of this one page? about.html and what's written here home page no change home to about us one thing okay scroll down 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 what's written here this is which one home you know this one this one so this is about.html change this home to about about us right and here in this one paragraph, in this one paragraph, I, I think I'm having three paragraphs or four? Three paragraphs. Okay. 
here select all of them and I'm writing about us here about us select about us here control C control V right now click on file and click on save if you watch here I created one more, one more page about.html now from this about us what's the next link name contact us contact.html go to file click on save as for contact for contact us what's the link name contact.html double quote start double quotes close now the page name is contact.html and here written about us change about to contact contact one thing scroll down 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 and here instead of about us I will write here contact us one thing and the next thing about us for about us what I will write here yeah I will write contact us you are not supposed to write like this right you have to write proper information here proper contact phone number uh, fax email etc etc now this one done click on file and click on save this information saved after contact check out here one more page created after contact what's the next page name after services for services what's the link name click on file and click on save is for home done about us done contact us as well done now services for services the page name is services.html so I will write here services.html double quote start double quotes close now the page name is services.html and here written contact us now change it to services one change and another change scroll down scroll down 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 in here here you are having contact us change contact us to services s e r v i c e s o o o and here is the text remove the text contact us change it to services select it control C control V now save these changes click on file and click on save services page is well done check it out here this is the services page what's the next one after services jobs jobs okay so click on file after that I will click on save is file save is for jobs page for jobs page what's the link name jobs.html double quote start double quotes close and in between right here jobs.html enter <coughs> now in the title instead of services what I will write here jobs one thing again scroll down 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 and here instead of services you will mention jobs and for services the detail what I will write sorry currently no position available contact soon or that's it no need to contact now click on file and save these changes file and click on save right jobs page is well done you can check from here this is jobs.html after that what's the next one hmm sitemap sitemap click on file and save is for sitemap what's the link name sitemap.html okay now for jobs I will write here sitemap page sitemap page scroll down this is where is sitemap uh -huh. here right here sitemap <coughs> and no no cur sorry 
currently no position available here i will write sitemap 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 like this right select it control c control v mm -hmm. not like this i want to fill up the page control c control v now file and click on save sitemap page is well done you can check from here this is the sitemap page right after this frequently asked questions frequently asked question page so for faq what's the link name faq.html save as double quote start double quote close faq.html right now mention here in instead of sitemap in the title i will mention faq one change next change here in the title sorry the the main here in this one section in this one section what i want to display i want to display f ask questions frequently asked question page control c control v and after this you are having the last page feedback click on file <coughs> and save these changes changes saved now the last thing the last one you are having feedback so for feedback what's the link name feedback.html double quote start i'm writing feedback.html and double quote close and right here feedback page right scroll down 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 and change the title instead of frequently asked question right here feedback one thing now here small thing remaining p tag font each and everything selected right along with p tag i'm here right now see first of all td align is equal to alignment i'm changing to center one thing now here as well i want to create a table small table but before that table form tag started flow form tag in between the form table border is equal to zero width of the table let me take the width as 70% close table now in this table i need tr close tr one td started and td closed again td started and td closed now in the first td i will write here font color is equal to what's the color i have taken blue mm -hmm. purple size is equal to 2 and face is equal to word enough and close font here i'm writing in between name let me select and copy in the first td i have written name right in front of this name i need i need a text box so i will write here input type is equal to text again another tr or if i copy this and paste any problem no Control C and Control B. Now this is next row. In the next row, I need here name, email. In front of that, I'm having a text box as well. Once more, Control B. Subject. In front of subject, again I need a text box, so that's fine. Again, one more row. Name, email, subject. Here I need country. So for country, Instead of input type is equal to text, what I will need here? Hmm. Select text started and select take close. In between select, I'm writing here one option. Remember this? This is called as combo box in Visual Basic, right? Here I'm writing Afghanistan. 
in here okay now again one more row i need control v here i will write comments and in front of comments i need text box no i need text area so here i will write text area number of columns to be displayed i need 34 uh, 40 i need 40 columns and how many rows i need i need three rows and close text area I mean to say i'm i'm going to make such a box structure see name in front of name you will have a box then what are the next thing subject again text box uh, after that email again another box then country for country a combo box and then comments for comments i need a big box like this right text area so this will be inside a table this will be inside a table like this but border is not visible right why because i have taken the border as zero and now here in the last i want to miss these two cells so what i will write call span call span <coughs> here i need two buttons one is submit and another one clear so here i will write send and here i will write clear and that's it okay text area completed after text area i need one more row for buttons so in this td i will write call span is equal to two call span is equal to two remove the next td along with its input type whatever whatever i will do here remove all of them this font as well remove and now here i will write input type is equal to submit and the text written on this button send one thing more input type is equal to reset and the value mean to say the text which is written on the button that should be clear file and save done now check out refresh which one page i'm having right now home page click on about us you are on about us and here the text about us click on contact us contact us page services page this services page jobs sorry currently no position available so okay this is site map this is the site map page faq page faq page feedback and this is the feedback page which i created right now is this clear no sir practice on this you are supposed to practice okay uh, the background color of this table. let me change it to um, BG color hmm. some light color you people do not know colors yellow, yellow. yellow is too much dark color white. white yellow white yellow already that is called is uh, light yellow I apply. Blue. red color okay, okay. Uh, see this is red color huh this one color it should be light color. Hmm? Light pink. <coughs> there is. I need th these buttons to be in the center. So for this, what I have to write? A line is equal to? Where I have to write a line is equal to center? Uh, here, in this TD. The, the, the table data in which I have written the input types, buttons. So I will write here, a line is equal to? Center, save, center, center, <laughs> refresh, right? Now, uh, these links, all links are activated. For example, from here, you are going to click on sitemap. We go working. Contact us, of course, of course, it will work. Uh, about us, about us page. Home, you are on home page. Services, job, sitemap, FAQ, whatever, whatever you are clicking, they will work. So this was the last day of your code. This was the last day of your code. After this, I will not write a single code. I mean to say, I will not open Notepad. I will not work in Notepad. You are going to start um, nah, front page. In the next class, you are going to start front page. Whatever we have studied before the midterm, 
before the midterm exam and after the midterm in these two classes. All those lessons will be repeated within two classes in front page. You will see front page is that much easy, right? No code is there, just you have to use mouse. Mouse, mind, and your thinking, right? Practice on this lesson. If you are facing any problem, do ask. Thank you so much. Any question?